Hi, this tutorial is to add additional features to the tutorial I made on Band in a Box Controls the Keyboard, which you can see on YouTube. Band in a Box is set up so that all the chords that are in Band in a Box, the song I selected, will control the keyboard, but the keyboard will supply the styles and the voices and allow you to change the styles and voices during the playing of the song. The feature I'll describe today is how to pre-program the registration keys so that the song can be ready to change chords and styles and so forth at each, uh, at each cor course change that you want to make. In this case I chose the song Smile, a simple little song, and I took four choruses of that song and at each course change will change the style setup by pre-programming the registration with styles and voices that I put in myself. Also included will be multi uh, multi-pad sounds that'll be there starting intros and so forth will also be controlled. So let's get started. This screen shows the band in a box on a monitor and all of the Voices that are normally used in a band of box, all the instruments are are muted so that only the soloist is alive, so that the band in a box does not provide any of the sounds, rather just the MIDI information on the chords. The Yamaha, the keyboard has been set up so that it's ready to receive external data that, that I've plan to have controlling the uh, keyboard. All that will come in here would be the tempo and the chords taken from the sheet music are taken from the music in the uh, band in the box song. For the first chorus I set up the style to be slow bassa as shown here and I'm using only the concert guitar and the flamingo guitar uh, to give me sound and that'll be instructed by band in a box to, to play the chord, play the sound when I get started. I also set up the keyboard so that the uh, accompaniment button is on and the start button is ready to go. I set up a uh, style version A of that bassa, bassa and I programmed a multi-pad by pressing on a select button and two of the select uh, two of the multi-pad positions at the same time so you can see they're darkened and they're they're about to play when I start the band in the box. One thing I should mention is that if you're going to use PAT to take advantage of the uh, assistance that that would offer you have to set the registration buttons up so that each time you save a style you change the speed of the style that you're loading in that particular setup to the one controlled by the BIAB which in this case happens to be a 120 setting. Since the tempo in that song is 120 but some of the songs that I styles I selected have different uh, speeds to play it back correctly afterwards you have to change the speed of the setting of the registration to the same speed as the song being played by BAB. That's a little bit confusing but uh, in this case I used 120. All four courses will be saved with a 120 setting. When I set up the keyboard properly I can then save the number one registration by pressing memory and pressing one. That means that the setup I just described to you is now shown, uh, now saved in memory one of that registration. I would do the same thing for two by changing the 
style on the Tyros to country blues, changing the instrument to country picking, and steel guitar and finger, finger bright. And I'll have it all set up so that it'll transition from registration one to two. It'll also give me a, a little break at the beginning of it and kick off two new multi pads as you can see by this setup I've darkened the two outer ones by holding down a select button and pressing those I go here memorize it now that's saved I did the same thing for three and four just so we can jump ahead if I go if I press three you'll see I have Motor City here Save uh, in the registration, same technique I just described, and the rock sax. And finally, registration four, organ and uh, the other instrument, cassado, whatever that is, plus the orchestra rock ballad. So what I've got now, with one being ready, is I can start the song in BIAB, and it will then record the song at each course, after each course, I'll step up from one to two, and from two to three, and from three to four. So the whole song will be played with the uh, chord changes that I pre-programmed into the registration setup. I could use foot pedals if, if I were set up for that in place of my fingers on the buttons, but I'd rather just place the, press the buttons for now. At this point, it would be... Uh, correct to save the registration bank we just created to make the setup and to do that you have to go to the registration keys press register bank plus and minus at the same time and you'll get an index like this up on the screen and it'll ask you if you want to delete save copy whatever we're gonna say save so we're gonna get this bank and save it and we want to give it a name. In this case, I, I chose the name Smile just to remind me of the song that was used to make this tutorial. One thing I would like to mention is my intention was to also go further and save the result of the setup we just described in the MIDI section of the Yamaha so that I can then play it back with the PAT performance assisted technology and that would allow the song to be played on the keyboard uh, by playing the recording and you can then use minimum fingering to get the maximum uh, utility out of the song so you can play the song and take advantage of the PAT which gives you all the right notes that you can play when, when it plays back with the PAT turned on Let's start the recording right now. I'll press the recording button. I'll start the song and start recording. You're hearing the first chorus go through. to recognize the melody because I took the melody out. Now I'll change the chorus. We change the country blue. Wow, though your heart is aching. Da, 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 da. Here goes three. Three have to be the Motor City. Where is it? Here it is. Motor City. Now we 
have to save the MIDI recording that we just made in view of the instructions you see on the screen. Saves it so we can play it back and play along with it. So I'll set up for that. Once you've recorded the song in the audio section, the MIDI section I should say, of the uh, Kairos, you want to save it. To save it you should go to the screen here and press the uh, title of the audio and press save that would be this button here save is I guess number six yep press six and I already saved it as the song smile four so I won't do it again but you would type in the name of the song the title that you want to apply to that particular <coughs> song and save it and that's okay so we already got it saved with that audio uh, with that MIDI recording I could play back the chords and everything else and sing along with it and everything would be fine and I have a recording which would have the backing of the uh, tune I made from BIAB and the Yamaha pretty automatically on the other hand, for those that don't know chords and uh, want to get a little use out of PAT, uh, they would have to set up the PAT function on the, on the Yamaha. You'd have to go to the uh, function button, which is press function, and then press song setting. Under song setting down here in the lower right corner is a thing called PAT, Performance Assisted Technology. You'd want to press that number 8 button, upper 8 button to uh, on so that PAT is now in command. That's good. Now when I play the song back, it will play only those notes that are complementary to the chords being in, input into the song. I'll demonstrate that with this. We have PAT on. I'm going to press the chord. with the song because of PAT. In other words, I can't play the scale anymore. It's only got PAT notes. Well, you hold down one note, it changes with the song. Notice that shift there. I think you have the idea there that the PAT allows you to play back a MIDI song that has been recorded on the Yamaha in such a way that none of the notes you hit will conflict with the chords being instructed into the Tyros by the recording. So that the sound always is uh, complementary, not negative. So that's for people that can't uh, really make their own chords or can't do their own fingering. I would prefer to play the song with the chords in the non-PAT mode, but some may, may appreciate the advantage of using PAT to assist them. The other good thing that uh, PAT is useful for is if you want to sing along with the song and use a recorded MIDI 
as backup the uh, harmonizing and all of that will be taken care of by the good control that PAT offers. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. So clear, if you smile, throw your tears and laughter. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll still find out that life's worthwhile. If 